I'm Jim Benson, and you're listening to TV Time Machine. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit our show archives at tvtimemachine.com. Well, another indelible character on the show, of course, is the boss, Teresa Lisbon, played by Robin Tunney. Tell us about the relationship, rather complicated relationship, that she has with Jane. Um, yeah, that relationship is and is meant to be a kind of, well, Rorschach test would be wrong, but it stays in an ambivalent area because it, it's, it's not necessarily important, but I like that the audience is never quite sure, as those two are never quite sure, where the relationship might go. Um, and it's been growing in real time over the course of the five years of the show. And again, that's one of those things that I think is very important to a show to reflect the genuine passing of time in the, in the character's life, but also in the actor's lives. And um, as Simon Baker and Robin have been working together for five years now and have grown very close and have very good friends um, and have a great deal of affection for each other, that has increasingly come through. And, you know, again, that's one of those things like in a movie or a little cable show, you can work against the natural slope of a character, the natural uh, course of events, if you, if you see what I mean. On a network TV show, it's important to work with where the characters are act where the actors and their relationship with each other is actually going and how they feel about each other and so it would be foolish to build animosity between them when in fact what you can catch on screen in in a beautiful way is two people who have a telepathy between them and have great affection for each other and are amused by each other um, and exasperated by each other <laughs> sometimes all of those things are, are real things that happen to any two people who are working together that long in that kind of intimate situation and and that's what people see on the screen at the same time some people think they're secretly in love with each other some people are, are horrified by that thought and mm -hmm. you know it's a brother and sister relationship and it can't possibly go that way mm -hmm. um, it, but you know in truth it's like life if they find each other in the future, it will be a wonderful, inevitable surprise to them. Um, or if they remain good friends and and colleagues, that is also natural. It, it's really about letting that relationship flow, as opposed to coming up with story ideas for it. And you know, how can we? You know, which is not to say we don't tweak it occasionally. Uh, it's very hard. I mean. From from a male writer's point of view, it's very hard not to fall in love with Robin Tunney as, as an actress and a, a character. So inevitably, as time rolls on, more of that affection appears in in the scripts and on the screen. But who knows? Who knows where it will go? Who knows where it will go? I think you know. Speaking as the characters, they're too deeply into what they're doing and you know the the journey they're on to be able to step back and and look at their relationship. I think it would be very scary for them to do that. And, you know, they will do that in the future, but um, mm. that's for the future. Bruno, it's been a tremendous pleasure having you aboard the TV Time Machine. Feel free to join us again in the future or in the past. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> Thanks very much. It's been a pleasure. This is Jim Benson. Join us again next time as our magical transport takes us on yet another journey exploring television's past, present, and future. You'll find your next adventure right here on the TV Time Machine.